amazing story of about a buffalo woman walking 902 miles. That's amazing and very specific in terms of the number. I'm sure there's significance there. <laughs> right, Mel? It makes you want to sing that song. You know, I would walk 902 miles. Yeah, very specific because actually there is a group of three, free them, it's hard to say, free them walkers who are walking 902 miles of the underground railroad path. Yeah, they're walking. They're coming on their way to Buffalo. I caught up with them part the way through to find out what they're doing it for. It's an amazing cause and it's all spearheaded by a super inspiring Buffalo woman. Take a look at this. Kelly Diane Galloway, you are on the road right now. Literally, where? Where are you? I don't know exactly where I am. I'm somewhere in between Albany, New York, and Rhinebeck. So I think I'm about uh, 5 to 10 or maybe even 15 miles outside of Albany. On the road since early May, humanitarian and Buffalo local Kelly Diane Galloway, along with several other Freedom Walkers, are trekking 902 miles along the Underground Railroad, raising awareness to end human trafficking. Yeah, like... We realize that what we're walking for, what we're running for, what we're jogging for is bigger than us. And it's about freedom. Freedom. That's what it's about. And so that's what keeps us going. About two years ago, I learned from my uncle Wayne Galloway um, of some of my family history. Through her organization, Ramp Global Missions, Galloway has opened Mona's house here in Buffalo to help survivors of human trafficking. My uncle Wayne was sharing um, some of my family history with me um, and telling me like my family lived on this plantation this is the kind of work they did like uh, a light bulb went off in my head and I was just like wait so I know that my ancestors were in, in you know supposed to be like enslaved but they were trafficking victims bought and sold for sex bought and sold for entertainment bought and sold for labor and I was like, maybe this is why like, I'm so passionate. I could never shake this um, because this fight is personal to me. A lot of people thought that slavery, you know, didn't exist past 1865, but it still exists today. And that's why we're walking. I have chills. This is amazing. This is a really powerful thing. We should be so proud of you. I mean, you're a, you're a Buffalo woman. Look at this yes, work you're doing. Yes, I am 716 girl. I am Buffalo all day, born and raised, okay? So, I mean, I'm excited, um, Melanie. Literally, I mean, like, we've been stopping at so many different places, and a lot of times people think that trafficking just happens overseas. And so, which each stop we've been um, traveling to, we've learned a, a great deal about what... Um, um, freedom seekers of the past had to do just to get free. We've been stopping at different stops on the Underground Railroad and we've also been educating those local communities. Hey, this is what human trafficking is. This is how you can spot it. This is how you can stop it. And this is how you can join the fight. When you head into Buffalo, when can we be there to cheer you as you take Please. your... Yeah. I want, listen, I want all of Western New York. I want Buffalo 716. I want everybody to meet me at City Hall at 11 o'clock a.m. on June 19th. That's the Saturday morning. Set your alarms. And as the Freedom Walkers and myself, we want our city to do the last mile with us on this 902 mile journey. So we're gonna walk 901 miles with just us, but I want y'all to help us finish it. So walk from City Hall with us into the last stop in Buffalo and Underground Railroad, which is the, uh, the Michigan Street Corridor, African American Heritage Corridor. I want us to be able to make history together so that we're all abolitionists. We're all freedom walkers, freedom walkers. And so um, that's, that's what my heart desires. Kelly, Diane, we are there. We're gonna help bring this home and yes. know that it's just so great when there's something really bad, it's nice to know that there are things we can do about it. So thank you so much for bringing awareness to such an important cause. Thank you so much for having me, Melanie. I appreciate you. Isn't she amazing? Kelly Diane Galloway. Wow, such an awesome Buffalonian. I love her. What an amazing thing the Freedom Walkers are doing, walking 902 miles to just raise awareness about human trafficking. It exists. And of course, she has an amazing organization here in Western New York. So yeah, Emily, are you in Juneteenth? Are you coming with me to do that last I'm in. mile? I'm so in. Yes, we're doing the last mile together. I I was almost, in I was in tears watching that. That's, it's so true. This is happening right now. Slavery happens right now. And there's something we can do about it. Yeah. And we can do that last mile together.
Oh my it gosh. takes absolutely nothing, raising awareness. We should do it. I'm so about this. And please, Western New York, join us. That's a great cause and a great thing to do. Isn't it's so it? easy for us to participate, but it's it a really greater is. cause than all of us. So fantastic. Thank you for that story, Mel. And thank oh you so gosh. much to Kelly Diane for sharing as well and doing that great work. Isn't it amazing? It's so good and it's great to know we can do something about it. But we will remind you as we get closer to Juneteenth and you can join us on the last mile, 902 miles. So amazing. Come